Will AI be the end of civilization? If deepfakes become so good that no one can trust them, then that's basically the end of the internet. I think that it's likely to always have valuable, factual, accurate- Not if you don't know which is which. While Neil deGrasse Tyson isn't afraid in the traditional sense, he does have concerns about the future, especially when it comes to the intersection of science and humanity. One area that sparks his worry is the potential risks of advanced artificial intelligence. Imagine an intelligence so powerful it surpasses anything humans can even comprehend. That's the realm of superintelligence, and it's a scenario that keeps experts like Nick Bostrom and Neil deGrasse Tyson up at night. There are a few ways AI could reach this super status. It could become super fast, processing information and solving problems at an unimaginable rate. Or it could develop superior intelligence, surpassing human capabilities in areas like creativity and strategic planning. Finally, a network of connected AI systems could collectively become super intelligent, forming a vast pool of knowledge and processing power. Bostrom, a leading voice in AI safety, warns of a potential intelligence explosion. This could happen through a self-learning loop, where AI keeps getting better and better at improving its own abilities. While the idea of superintelligence is fascinating, it also raises serious concerns. What if these superintelligent machines decide their goals don't align with ours? What if they become uncontrollable, pursuing their own objectives even if they harm humanity? These are the questions that weigh on Neil deGrasse Tyson's mind as he looks towards the future. We can so, think, so before I mean, AI takes us over and, and exterminates us, there are these good sides of what, what <laughs> He believes it's crucial to have open discussions and explore ways to ensure AI development benefits humanity and doesn't lead us down a dangerous path. Will it make deep fakes that will destabilize all that we know and trust? Superintelligence, the hypothetical future where AI surpasses human cognitive abilities, beckons with both immense promise and chilling possibilities. Imagine conquering common illnesses that have plagued humanity for centuries, solving scientific mysteries that have baffled our greatest minds, and even ushering in a new era of economic prosperity. However, the path to this future is paved with significant risks that can't be ignored. The most prominent concern lies in the concept of misalignment, even with the best intentions, an AI's goals and values might not perfectly align with our own. Even seemingly innocuous tasks, pursued with superintelligence's unparalleled efficiency, could lead to disastrous consequences if they don't harmonize with human well-being. Another worry is the potential loss of control. As AI surpasses human comprehension in its ability to learn and improve, we might find ourselves unable to predict or control its actions. This raises profound questions about the distribution of power in the face of such advanced technology. In the wrong hands, superintelligence could become a tool for unimaginable manipulation or even pose an existential threat to humanity. The concept of existential risk, while seemingly like science fiction, is a conversation that experts like Nick Bostrom and Neil deGrasse Tyson believe we need to have now. We're not just talking about potential inconveniences. We're discussing the possibility of AI harming humanity on a global scale, from initiating conflict to controlling our very existence. So, what can we do in the face of these challenges? The first step is acknowledging the risks and fostering international cooperation. We need to establish ethical guidelines and regulations for AI development, ensuring that it remains aligned with human values and used responsibly. Ultimately, the story of superintelligence is still being written. The choices we make today, both in terms of technological development and ethical considerations, will determine whether this powerful technology becomes a force for good or a threat to our existence. By approaching this challenge with foresight, collaboration and a deep sense of responsibility, we can turn the potential dangers of superintelligence into opportunities for a brighter future. This journey requires a multifaceted approach. We need to invest in research into technical solutions that address the alignment problem, ensuring AI remains aligned with human values. Additionally, fostering open and transparent communication between experts, policymakers and the public is crucial. By openly discussing the potential risks and benefits of superintelligence, we can build a future where this technology serves humanity, not the other way around.
So we've established that superintelligence, while exciting, comes with its fair share of challenges. But how do we ensure this powerful AI doesn't become a runaway train, jeopardizing the future of humanity? This is where the control problem comes in. Imagine trying to teach a superintelligent being the nuances of human values and ethics. It's no easy feat. One approach involves directly programming these values into the AI, but defining and encoding human ethics consistently is a challenge in itself. Another option is indirect normativity, where we design AI to learn and adopt human values through experience. Think of it like raising a child. We guide them through interactions and observations, hoping they internalize our values. However, directly influencing AI isn't the only solution. We could also explore capability control methods, essentially putting the AI in a box. This involves restricting its ability to interact with the outside world and setting up tripwires that shut it down if it steps out of line. Finally, there's motivational control. This involves building in inherent motivations within the AI that are aligned with human well-being. Imagine an AI whose very purpose is to help humanity, ensuring its actions remain beneficial as it evolves. Now let's shift gears and talk about another aspect of AI that raises eyebrows, the marriage of AI and surveillance. AI has become a powerful tool for governments and organizations, allowing them to analyze vast amounts of data for surveillance purposes. This includes using facial recognition in crowds, analyzing people's gates, and even predicting criminal activity based on data. This newfound power raises serious ethical concerns. Imagine walking down the street constantly under the watchful eye of AI-powered cameras, your every move analyzed and judged. This raises questions about the balance between security and privacy, the rights of individuals, and the very nature of public spaces. In some parts of the world, like China, AI-powered surveillance has become deeply integrated into society, with citizens' social credit scores based on their online activity and behavior monitored by cameras. In contrast, democratic societies are grappling with how to utilize this technology for public safety while safeguarding individual liberties. This constant monitoring raises serious concerns about the erosion of privacy and its impact on individuals and society as a whole. One of the biggest worries is the chilling effect this has on our freedom. The feeling of being constantly watched can stifle self-expression, discourage participation in public activities, and even lead to self-censorship as people fear being judged or penalized based on their data. Studies even show that constant surveillance, even the perception of it, can have negative psychological effects, causing stress and anxiety. Additionally, the erosion of privacy undermines anonymity, which is crucial for activities like political dissent and personal reflection. In a world where every action is tracked and analyzed, the space for private exploration and independent thought shrinks. However, there's a fight back brewing. Regulations like the EU's General Data Protection Regulation aim to give individuals control over their personal data. These regulations give people the right to access, correct and delete their data and require explicit consent before businesses can use it. Similar efforts are underway in other parts of the world, like California's CCPA, Enforcing these regulations is no easy feat, especially for global companies operating across borders. Additionally, government surveillance programs often operate under different rules, raising concerns about their effectiveness in curbing state-sponsored surveillance. But the fight doesn't stop there. Technological solutions like encryption, blockchain and decentralized networks are emerging to empower individuals to protect their privacy. The future of privacy in the face of AI-powered surveillance hinges on several factors. Firstly, fostering ethical development of AI is crucial. This means designing AI with transparency, accountability, and privacy protection in mind. Secondly, public awareness and engagement are key. As individuals become more informed about the implications of surveillance, they can participate in discussions and work towards establishing a societal consensus on the acceptable boundaries of its use. Ultimately, the fight for privacy in the age of AI is a continuous journey. By acknowledging the challenges, exploring technological solutions, and advocating for ethical AI development, we can strive to create a future where both security and individual freedoms are respected.